everybody. Welcome to Psychic Nerd 67. I almost forgot the number again. Uh, surrounded by all my friends, Tarzan, David 14, Tech Cowgirl, Purple Roads, Beautiful Barefoot Doc, uh, Violet, Lost Shaker, Human Avatar, Queen Maria, very dressed up today, Queen, and the great cook Santino uh, down there in the bottom right. Uh, Santino, I've been watching your uh, Nerd Kitchen uh, concoctions and um, where, where's, where do those recipes come from, sir? Uh, hey, Moo. Those, so hey. those recipes are, oh, I don't, they go back probably three, four generations. They haven't changed. Uh, handed down from my grandparents, my grandmother to my mother, uh, and then passed on to us. So literally, uh, so that sausage I was making and then the pasta I made afterwards, yeah. they'd have made it exactly the same way like 80, 100 years ago. Uh, great. So even the meal afterwards that you saw with some, so we fried up some of the sausage and we put some, uh, some bread and rapini and a um, little bit of garlic in. It's a bit of a mash. It's like, it's like peasant food. Uh, yeah. So very few ingredients. You can eat a lot of it. Totally healthy. Fantastic. It's brilliant. But it's real food. Yeah, not real not food. plastic food. Yeah, it's definitely real food. It looked, it looked phenomenal. Is there a, uh, Santino's Bistro in your future? There's already one in the family, but I don't myself own it, but there is one in the family, actually. Well, uh, I don't know how you guys feel about cryptos. I'm back from vacation and uh, I'm fine with cryptos. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you need to go back on vacation. Cryptos tanked when you <clears throat> came back. <laughs> but I know a lot of people are not too thrilled with the market, but. Uh, I'm kind of Matic crazy. So we, Matic is one that we've talked about for a long time. And um, a lot of us were very early to Matic and, and saw a bright future with it. Um, but I'm, I'm getting even more excited. So I, I took some, some of the profits I, I had in 2021 and um, some of my losers too. I took some of my non-performing coins and kind of moved them over. So I'm pretty happy with my position in Matic right now. Uh, anybody else feeling a little crazy about Matic? Again, I like Matic. Yes, getting back in love Matic. Yep, love it. Definitely. Oh, I can't see how much. I've been feeling it since last year, Matic, and a few people that are getting newly into crypto are also have been. Um, the intuition's been kicking in, and all they talk about is Matic. Yeah, I'd love these. Uh, go ahead. I was just going to say, how much is a good bag of Matic? And the answer is more. Yeah, more. I agree. <laughs> Always more. <laughs> I already had quite a bit, but I felt like uh, I just, uh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Um, so I had to get some more. Uh, I've enjoyed. Well, you know what Santino says. What's that? Half a million dollars. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's, a full, that's a full bag. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's a full bag if anybody. Yeah, wondering. sure. Let me go and sell my kidney. <laughs> Everybody's asking what's a full bag. That's half a million. Don't ask again. You still mm, have kidneys? Kidney. Yeah, I, still kidneys. Have, I kept two. I, I sold the, um, oh, I don't know if it's appropriate on the recording. You know, I sold other things that weren't moving. Kidney and onion. You know, people and whatnot. Jeez. <laughs> that's what Santino keeps recommending. Shot them. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's what Santino keeps recommending. Sell your friends, your grandparents, anything. And buy Maddox. Your friends, For children. Maddox? Absolutely. For yeah, Maddox. yeah, that's right. Well, children, there's two. we can... So there's two hodl bags, like strong hodl bags that I have, like untouchable. Uh, one is Phantasma and one is Matic. And I've held them for a long time yeah. uh, before anybody was talking about them. And yep. I basically own the entire stack still. In fact, I added some KCAL uh, over the last few weeks as well. Nice. So, um, and I've made a lot of moves. I've been a busy little beaver. Uh, I've been posting about it. So I've... I've also did the same thing. I've shed a lot of my losers. I, my loser coins that weren't doing anything in 2021 or just weren't performing, I dumped them. And I uh, took profits in Seek, took profits in UFO, took some profits in XYO. I was early to all those projects. So there was a significant amount of profit there. And I've now used those um, that to build uh, where a new portfolio, essentially a new portfolio um yeah that that i think is going to take us into uh, next year yeah, yeah. I'm, i i'm so damn excited uh you know everywhere i look 
uh, just rotating back to Matic a little bit, you know, I, I was very excited to see this. We knew this is a strong performer and there's a lot of enterprise relationships with uh, Polygon. We know a lot of uh, game studios also deciding to run uh, Polygon. I'm seeing ETH developers inside uh, the business uh, just deciding to go ahead and just develop or release right onto Polygon. You get a an almost exact copy of Ethereum uh, that doesn't care so much about security, but is very fast, very cheap. Um, and I and I liked that they welcomed uh, seven point or seventy two thousand new developers in uh, December of uh, two thousand twenty one alone. That's just in the month of December. <clears throat> I also like this uh, over 10 million unique active users and roughly uh, 26.7 billion in savings by using Polygon. So this is this is pretty interesting. I'm very, very excited about this. I don't know, uh, you know, for a lot of us, Polygon was not only a wonderful performer last year, but uh, it, was, it was a very nice kind of stable place for us to be through some of the turmoil. Um, even people that didn't venture out into necessarily the gaming, but wanted gaming exposure, picked up, you know, Polygon. Um, and got some nice exposure there. Um, I, it's been rock solid. It's been rock solid. And I, I'm just, I'm getting really excited now. Uh, how soon do we see, I would say, how soon does this come to fruition? But that's, that's really not it, is it? It's, it's performed well ever since a lot of us picked it up. So, um, so let me just rotate back. Uh, how crazy are you guys feeling about Matic? Two thumbs. I'm confident. You know, I can't say crazy, but I am definitely confident. Uh, in love with it. Yeah. Does that summarize everything? Yeah. That's I'm my love. biggest position on Binance. Nice. Well, it just has lots of developers, people working on it. It's, it's, it's useful. Feels very solid. And I want more of it. Yeah, I can't seem to get enough. Let's also take a look. Um, so I guess here's where I say, uh, if you're only getting the free kind of version or sampler of this show, I uh, hope you enjoy it. And if you're not a part of the Psychic Nerds Discord, I wish you would be um, because we typically run these about 90 minutes every time we record, 90 minutes to two hours. And uh, if you're only getting the free sampler, you're probably only getting about 30 minutes. So I kind of wish you would join and uh, see if it's for you. Um, I'm pretty happy with our kind of picks and information and guidance and things we provided people last year. So pretty stoked. And I think for 12 or 25 bucks, you get a lot of value there. So let's take a look the at crazy this. Crazy stuff starts after the 30 minute mark, right? It does. Oh, yeah. We save it up for later, huh? <laughs> that what was a teaser. What goes Get on in, after folks. 30 minutes stays after 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Or, before, or, or, before, or the after show. That's even or better. Before recording, before recording, we go a bit wild. We do. Oh, well, Nerds no, gone I mean, wild. Don't. Nerds gone wild. If, if folks want to see a full uh, session, look at our last video on YouTube. We did put up Good a point. Good point. full length recording. We were all yeah. pretty well behaved, though, I must we admit, were. last time. So boring. You guys are so boring. Jeez. <laughs> I, I thought AJ was going to rage quit on us during the eat day, but <laughs> <laughs> I was trying my best. Not, not once did David stand <laughs> up, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. If you guys we don't know. Him sitting down. Yeah, David doesn't wear pants during these. Um, <laughs> shh. <laughs> I am wearing pants. Yeah, HA does work. Um, let's take a look at these. Uh, so uh, Masari hasn't changed this sort feature yet, but uh, it's so these are the gainers of uh, 2022 so far, I believe, unless the sort is wrong. But uh, we're noticing some things like uh, Fuse up 105% already this year, Muse, uh, VSP, uh, Chainlink um, actually doing pretty well um, this year. Uh, but it was smashed pretty hard. Yeah, it was. Um, got our, our good buddy Phantasma right there. Another one we like quite a bit. Um, but uh, as I just kind of scroll down this list, anybody seeing anything that sticks out to you? Uh, obviously, as the year goes on, this, this, this list, these gainers are going to change quite a bit. But uh, anything stick out?
Cosmos sticks out for me. Uh, oh, yeah, that Dash is on this one. list. Yeah, it's um, it's down here somewhere. Phantasma sticks out to me. Cosmos. Yeah, Phantasma. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Atom is another huge one, isn't it? Ooh, what's Ignis? That's something I want to um, want to do is is get more into railroads, uh, but two in particular, Avax and Av- Atom. Yeah. yeah. What about what about Arweave, JP? I don't know about that one. I, don't, I know very little about that. I'm going to write that down and look it up. Do some yeah. research. So you'll, this- see, you'll see that Métis mm-hmm. and Sif Chain and. There'll be a few of those that you will have seen in the DGen channel on Psychic Nerds, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. except that we were looking at them last the, at the end of last year. Yeah, uh, and so these are all sort of emerging areas and emerging trends that I think are going to consume 2022. And I yeah. think if people are investing yeah. in 2022, thinking about 2021, I don't think they're going to do very well. Yeah. Mm. Santino, I wanted to ask you, um, in terms of monkey ball, do you think that's run already or is that still a good opportunity? What do you think? I like both those a lot. Um, I like sand as well. I think sand and engine are your two uh, blue chips in the metaverse gaming Mm. space. And monkey ball is uh, one that I uh, flipped to late last year. I think it just, it didn't do well on the IDO, uh, but I think it's just the timing and it's, it's run, it's had a nice little run since then, but it still has to get above its all time high. So you're not getting in at a high price. I usually never buy IDOs because they skyrocket and then uh, the bag holders unleash on retail that buy it right about there at the 250. Yep. So I was buying, I was buying it lower than that. And then I bought another trench down at about a dollar, dollar 25 or so. Uh, I, I've been legging into this one. I think it's good. Uh, Decimated, I think, is another one that's good. Mm -hmm. Um, But uh, the two that I'm most interested in are Cypher and uh, blockchain space, because what I'm seeing is a trend where you're, first of all, a mobile trend, like any game you can play on your phone, anything that's able to go mobile on blockchain. A blockchain game is going to be very, very popular uh, because its legacy is already... Uh, this stuff going on today in legacy uh, mergers, them trying to get uh, mobile deals together. So yep. this is really, really important macro trends that are going to push these things. And Cypher and blockchain space are two that are like that. Yep. And if you imagine gaming on chain on the blockchain. So in other words, your avatar doesn't just, you know, go away. It's on the blockchain forever. Like your yep. game's there forever imagine what that means trading in and out of nfts um you know the financialization of it the and there's big big deep money looking to get into these areas and there's just not a lot of quality plays so i'm suspecting these areas are going to explode uh that's that's just just one of a number of trends that are happening next year yeah that's c-y-p-h-e-r i'm guessing i don't know this one uh, S-I-P-H-E-R. But S-I. Okay, I've written it down wrong. Oh. Okay. Don't know there it is. One. I'll have to do some look up this. Oh, that's down with it. Yeah. And you're not, you're not buying these at a ridiculous high. Like, right. in the, like in the gaming, when gaming took off in October, November of last year, people were getting in at ridiculous ridiculous levels um these things have already they haven't really run like that so i took profits in ufo last year that was my big gaming winner Mm -hmm. i got in really you know when it was a bunch of zeros in front of it and i cashed it out at the end of last year some some at the heights and some more at the you know like early december late november and so when these things run and they give you 30 40 x's you have to take your profits some of these will do that They'll do that in 2022, some of these. Hate to put you on the spot, and you can lie, of course, if you'd like. Uh, Are you currently staking any of this cipher? I've I've not done it yet, but I am looking at doing it. The staking uh, mechanisms look pretty slick. Mm -hmm. Of course, the APYs, obviously, is usually pretty high in these things. And you do have to be careful. You have to to, um, 
manage your sizes that you stake just in case something goes wrong, right? Yeah. Uh, but if you've got extra and you want to play uh, and you're comfortable with these types of platforms, absolutely. Yeah. Like these are not nothing games. Like there's big, there's, there's credible big investors behind them. Exactly. Now that's not always, you know, doesn't always mean, oh, well, you know, nothing's going to happen. Uh, things can still happen. It's crypto, but, um, but you're not, these aren't fly by night things, right? Right. A lot of us are happy with Gala, uh, Gala games. Uh, I've been really interested in, uh, some of the podcasts and videos that I've been watching recently, Violet turned, uh, me on and in turn trying to turn other people onto this interesting one, this Faz radio, uh, that seems to do quite a bit of work with, uh, Gala games. <clears throat> uh, so on my long trip on my vacation, I was listening to a lot of those. They were very informative and cool. Um, very excited. I think a lot of us are very excited about the, these nodes in which we're running these capital assets, um, and what they can generate. Very interesting. Uh, very, very cool project. And, uh, it sounds like they're holding a lot of things very close to the best, not revealing too much. And uh, as I listened to those, it sounded, it, it got the impression that uh, kind of a big deal. <clears throat> and I think there's a lot of partnerships when you look at, you know, they brought in Malanu, who's a famous uh, kind of computer gaming person. They brought in, uh, I forget his name, Chris Wright, I believe is his name, the guy that uh, created The Sims. He's working on a game for them. Um, I'm just very, very excited. And I, I think they're keeping a lot of things under wraps. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about Gala too. I just, I'm, I'm glad we were early there and I'm glad that it's turned, uh, those Gala tokens, we were able to kind of leverage those into nodes and capital assets. Anybody and, else? Yeah. Well, and I want to add to that, sure. um, as we talked about gaming and NFT, um, and after I did a presentation, I dove a little bit further because when you upgrade to Gala Gold, you get gifted an NFT. And so play to earn as I doubled into it mm -hmm. and then use those Gala profits to get a few more NFTs and then start playing it. The Town Townstar game, which is free at this moment, and using those NFTs and I'm like, oh my God, I can actually make money, which I've set it up for my child now who can... Uh, who can actually use it as her curriculum for maths, as well as some other subject because she's studying online. And my child is making money by playing a game that I've invested by listening to you guys. It's like, wow. <laughs> it, how does it get any better than that? It falls into working smarter, not harder. And I know where people fail, like, but I don't understand. I said, you know what? Sometimes you just need to be in it and understand later. Otherwise you miss out, you know, you find yourself regretting. Oh, I wish I did this. Like, you, you know, we never miss out on anything. However, it eliminates regrets. Does that make sense, yep. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm excited about Gala Games because of the little bit of the structure that we see right now. And if, you're, if you would go to the Gala Games uh, website, you could scroll down and look at the, I think, eight or so games that they have promoted on that. But if you get inside and you go into the Gala Games Discord, you will see a uh, probably 12 or 13 games that are they are getting ready to push forward. And based on the little bit of the structure we have now, where we uh, founders nodes owners, we get a piece of the pie from uh, receiving Towns, town star tokens so yes. if that stays and runs true then we have 12 14 15 games possibly in the future that we will be able to receive some compensation from did you say yeah Maybe. yeah and it goes uh to what santino has been saying and i think mu as well that even in bear market you can still make money the opportunities sure. are always there and it falls also back to why your intuition is very imperative as well and listening because we constantly get those nudges what we need to do. When we ask for wealth or for health, we all, all constantly receive answers. But the big question, are you listening or you go, na, 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 or you're rejecting what you get given? And I've been guilty of it myself. So I'm, I'm always the first one to say, yep, I've been there, I've done that. Now I'm saying yes, 
because I can always say no. My nudges came in the form of bliss. <laughs> she was like, get a strong node, get a strong node, hurry up. <laughs> it's just really yeah. nice, particularly with Gala, just um, for once, because I'm always late on these things. I listen to what's said and then I get forget about it, and then I go and do something else, and then I finally get to it and I've missed the first run, you know. It's nice to just get that, you know, right, I'm doing this now and just do it and get in on the uh, early information and be early on something for once. And I'm very grateful to this group for that reason. That passive income is a real game changer. Well, it was for yeah. me. And it also means, you know, that while we're waiting for the next run up, you know, while things are, are, are flailing along where they are, um, we've got this income, you know. And then, you know, future after the bull run, we might do a, a big sell off and, you know, cash profits in before the, the bear market, but you've got, you still got this earner. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. You know, <clears throat> it looks like uh, pretty soon they're opening up round two for the town star nodes, um, which is kind of interesting. And if you pay in town, the equivalent of $14,000, or if you want to pay in gala, the starting price is the equivalent of 15,000. And then if you want to pay in other currencies, probably with ETH or BAT, uh, you're looking at uh, 17 five um i was really kind of a, amazed at some of the development inside of townstar uh when i was listening to these videos and it just sounds it sounds like a really really i know maria and maria i think we should do a video on this about um you talked about earning playing to earn and yep. uh, doing quite well and i think a lot of us or uh people that we're connected to would be interested in seeing that um how that's done and maybe how they can maximize that or buy nfts and leverage them in the games but um it was interesting that it looks like um if you're lucky enough to snag one the last one sold out in four or five minutes but uh if you're lucky enough to snag one they're now limiting it to two town star nodes um, so that'll be kind of interesting. Um, and if anybody's seen the price of town, it's, it's actually done pretty well. Um, I assume a lot of people are maybe buying the town uh, coin now to attempt to buy, uh, get into these town star nodes or servers. Um, yeah, and the town star has been actually quite steady during this bear market. Very as well um it's you know like uh, when we talked about what do we recommend to buy for someone who is elderly so we recommend ethereum because ethereum doesn't go up or down i mean doesn't go down drastically so towns that has been really steady and i believe we're doing the recording later today yeah so i am looking forward to it yeah me too. Well, i think gala's been pretty pretty consistent not it's gone down a bit but it's not been a, a major crasher yeah, there's been and strong has been very consistent. Mm. Yeah, that has. Mm. Yeah. When we when we talk about passive income, we should mention stake and ships on Starless too. Yes. That's I get eight percent well, per month know. per month. Yeah, that's not bad at all, is it, David? It is. It is. It's a nice side income. You know, it's funny. We we began this. If you guys will recall, over 2021, we talked about how important these games would be, right? Even before the run-up in the summer to the gaming, we talked about how these games are really teaching people about blockchain, how about how to use NFTs, about how to participate with tokens or NFTs inside of a DeFi mechanism, right? It's really a training ground to get people used to this idea, almost of DeFi, but the gaming, you know, uh, gamifying it. Um, which is very, very interesting. And we knew it would end up this way. And I guess I just, I mentioned that because, um, you know, it's another thing that I think we were early to in 2021 that I think is pretty interesting. Um, just information that we were getting and feelings about it. And then, you know, it proved to be a, a rock solid sector for a lot of us, if not our best performing sector of 2021, which was uh, very, very nice. And also I would like to add, um, because it's been coming up, like some people go, oh, it's too late. Oh, no, I need lots of money. So what I'm finding even more and more, don't listen to anyone else, research. Because uh, we have different people here who has different level of finances that invested. There are ships for 
uh, part of my Russian, uh, for $20. So you don't have to have a massive investment. There's always an opportunity for your level of uh, amount that you have of finances. But the most important thing, don't listen to anyone else. Do your research. Go directly to the source and get information from there, not from your friend who has no knowledge or awareness of what is happening. That is what I've been finding. Some people are failing in their own financial um, growth is because they're listening to the wrong information instead of doing their own research. And you can always accumulate later those yes, ships. You, you, you can correct. buy more. And what's most important for me is you can sell those ships. If you yes. want to get out, you're in, you can get out within minutes. And those and, ships increase in price, so it depreciates. Yeah, that's what that's we've That's a seen. nice bonus. Yeah. yeah, and that's, I think, platforms that allow something that like that, a marketplace, and Gala will be soon to be putting in a marketplace, but a marketplace that uh, Star Alice has, where you do have some liquidity on these NFTs and these, these interest-bearing, um, uh, we'll just call them assets, uh, is quite unique. And I, I think that's some of these, are, those are going to be the ones that really stand out. And I like that you said that. Um, that, you know, some people can get into these as, as cheap as 20 or 30 bucks. Um, it's kind of cool, kind of neat. And I, I like the idea as you, in Star Atlas, for example, as you kind of put these things to work um, and you start staking, you, they actually gain experience, don't they? Your ships gain experience, which uh, is kind of interesting. You and you know, the word, if we talk about woo, sorry, Mu, um, That's okay. the word delayed gratification dropped in. Yeah. So that is very imperative. Like, you know, um, it, I, I can only speak about myself, even though I do have, let's say, spare profits. Um, but like the card that I'm using to get uh, other rewards, I could easily dump in 500 bucks and be done. However, I'm using delayed gratification attitude. By using the card, I get rewards back and I'm accumulating them slowly. But I am accumulating. I don't need to rush. Being a Russian, I don't need to do that. But I'm using delayed gratification. It's also that's something that we're lacking in this day and age, right? We want everything done yesterday. Sometimes, yeah, yesterday is also good. However, delayed gratification, I believe, is very imperative if you want to build, um, if you're newbie, right, also, to build a nice, strong returns. Also, Am I also for, being wrong? Or? Also for newbies to... Uh... I think it's important to point out that the kind of stuff that the nerds are talking about now is super nerd level stuff, okay? So if you think these ecosystems uh, can sometimes work differently than just investing in the coins themselves, right? Yep. And people that are coming in need to understand that because I think a lot of people would be confused. It'd be like, the first thing they'll do if they're new, they'll go and look at the Atlas token right mm -hmm. and you know it hasn't done much since its launch it's right, right. so it, for many months so they're going to say well why would i get involved in this because the ecosystem underneath can still be vibrant and you can still make money and do things with it it doesn't necessarily uh apply to the token itself investing in tokens is one thing investing in the ecosystem through yield platforms and uh and you know nfts this is a whole different ball game so it's important for people to understand the differences between those two. A lot don't. Yeah, a lot do not. And, and one of the things I, I think I pride us on is that trying to explain that um, whether it's, you know, hey, if you don't know, know what a DEX is, you should get out there and try it, right? And here's, here's a few to try. Or if you don't know what DeFi is, here's a couple ways you can play with DeFi. Or if you don't know what, you know, capital assets are on the blockchain, hey, they kind of look like this. Or interest-bearing accounts or you name it. But I think we've done a lot to encourage people to think of their tokens as something that can generate um, rather than just buying a token and hoping to sell it to a price, a higher price to someone else for. Um, and so I think for a lot of the people that have joined us on this journey have, have really experienced the benefits through you know airdrops and other things, even the education. I mean, the education is almost... It's priceless, right? Because Price, the priceless. Yeah, because the mechanisms yeah. are about the same. Um, you know, whether we're talking about DeFi and gaming or we're talking about DeFi outside of gaming, it's exactly the same thing, which you can wrap your mind around that process, right? Or running a node, for example, running a node, processing transactions, receiving a reward. It, you know, 
anything that's like that is pretty much it pretty much acts the same. So I, I'd like to once again, I guess, congratulate us uh, on that for, you know, introducing some of these ideas to people. I think it, I think it's going to be helpful to them in the future. Moo, okay. May I drop some woo into this? Please. I um I had no idea about ships or the game or anything, the Atlas game, uh, about a week ago now, I think. Hmm something like that um and i actually uh, got shown source showed me um a ship a spaceship so it came in and it w- was on its side and they said small ship uh, okay and then the number 20 and i had no idea what that meant so i went to my friends and we um spitballed it and came up with that they were talking about the atlas ships and they were encouraging us to buy the $20 ships. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's what I've been doing and a couple other of my compatriots. And putting them to work, right? Purchasing and, these yeah. $20 ships and then staking them, putting them to work and generating exactly. yield. Um, yes. Yeah. So cool. And, that, is, that is cool. Go ahead. And most importantly, she listened to her nudges. That is what um, I, I think we've all been talking about. I don't know if we have. If you want to strengthen your intuition, you need, you, you need to listen to it and act on it. Otherwise, uh, you don't want the universe stepping in and creating an extra mess for you. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You know, I think that's true of anything. Uh, it could be anything you're participating in. You have to, one, you have to participate. Uh, you have to listen to those nudges, as you mentioned, and that you kind of have to trust it as well. Yeah. Well, as well as with that, so I'm going to say also the wood stuff. Um, when I, my daughter asked me, so some mom, how are you going to pay for these things? And I'm like, that's a very good question. So I immediately went to higher power, say, please bring me a solution. And it was delivered within five, five minutes. Moose uh, name dropped in. So I reached out straight away. It, everything was aligning because I was acting on it. And that's when he's like, okay, have you thought of this? It's like, no, he um, got me onto Gala. And uh, again, I'm like, where am I going to put money into it? Oh, I'm, th- I'm sitting on this profits. It's like, mm-hmm. it's time to take it out. So I did that straight away. And then because I made a commitment, I said, I'm going to take that profit out. I'm going to spend that money because I've asked for it. And someone has said to me, oh, Maria, don't do it. Go and uh, reinvest it. I said, no, that's going to be incongruent to the promise I made and to the, the, what I was, the answer was delivered. I, I am making a commitment to my investment strategy. And so guess what? Then I get delivered more because I'm being true to the word that I've made. Universe delivered the answer. I act on it and I'm living on that income now. That's passive income, supporting my family further. And then strong notes dropped in. It's like, okay, those ones, I made a commitment that I'm going to re, um, what's that thing? Um, Take it out. Yes, reallocate back into Ethereum. And I'm doing that. And then guess what happens? Because when you're congruent, what happens? Who can answer that? You get more. <laughs> there you go. It's very imperative. I believe it's very imperative that you listen to those nudges and you be congruent with your word, impeccable with your word as the four agreements say. I agree 100%. Uh, and we've, we've talked about this idea before, going back to Wu, that you know, if, if you're not trusting the process, right? Um, don't be surprised if, if the information stops, right? It, it's, it's a skill. It's a, it's a connection. It's a, it's a, it's a union. It's a transaction. It's, it's many things, but it's, <clears throat> it's trusting and then acting. Right. And, you know, there's lots of stories like this, like allegorical ideas around this, right. That people can read about or people can participate in, you know, leaps of faith and, Things like this um, that I hope people are trusting uh, their guts. I hope people are putting in the work and I hope they're, they're spending quiet, quiet moments kind of <clears throat> poking around a little bit to see if certain things are right for them. And I think we all know this, but, you know, all things won't be right for all people. And that's what makes it very, very unique and very, very wonderful and wacky at the same time, right? It's more than just a multiple of a coin. Uh, some people will be drawn to certain things and not others for a specific reason. And it's just very, very uh, interesting. Um, I think I want to show this. I don't know why I want to show this. Uh, this came up on our um, 
Pirates of the Woo. If anybody doesn't know, if you're a member of the Psychic Nerds Patreon and Discord, you're an automatic member into our Pirates of the Woo Guild. Um, and Drill and Phil, who's just an amazing ass.